So I ended up picking up a 10 by 10 slant leg canopy to set up or just kind of have to prepare for the rain. Um, so I had a little bit of cover. I have a tarp and a couple other things as well. I got a good amount of tree cover in this camp spot. I'm gonna get this thing set up, starting to sprinkle a little bit and just kind of see how it works. It was 40 bucks at Walmart. Wasn't sure if I was gonna use it or not, but. Yeah, buddy that's what I'm talking about all right so if you haven't noticed I am camping in the rain if you watched my previous video I was telling you I was coming over here I'm, on, I'm in Long Beach area in the Washington coast camping in a campground I'm not completely dispersed meeting up with a few people we're gonna be doing some hiking and camping in the rain so I kind of planned and prepared for you know being wet picked up this 10 by 10 canopy and it did exactly what I had hoped it was going to do. So now I have cover. When I get out of my Jeep, I have this cover. I can stand up completely in it. I can cook off the back and everything like that. So we'll see how the rest of the, the trip goes. I'll keep you posted and uh, see what other changes I need to make, if any. So I did order an awning. I just purchased it or made the purchase yesterday so i should have it in a week i'm gonna but then i'll have cover over my doors i will tell you this canopy was a lifesaver if i didn't have that thing um i just i wouldn't be able to stay dry i would be more i would be more tied up into um yeah if i didn't have this thing it would have been a lot tougher for me to actually enjoy cooking and stuff brewing up a little bit of coffee <clears throat> but yeah, it's it's raining pretty good right now as you can see So the campfires are out of the question. We built a campfire Last night. I'm here with a few other people. We built a campfire last night It stopped raining for a few minutes actually for like two hours. So it worked out perfect. We were able to warm up We're gonna start bullshitting and and uh, get a game plan and go on a hike. So I'm excited It's gonna be wet. It looks like but hey, I'm prepared shit Woo! it was cold out there man super cold and windy and wet but it's truly amazing oh Woo!
here at the rain, but it's raining pretty good. It's been windy. It's four o'clock in the morning. Hard for me to sleep, but it is what it is. But it's coming down. Taking down uh, the canopy in this rain. It's going to be fun. Might get a little wet doing that, but it is what it is. So to conclude this trip, um, the number one thing that made a difference to me and I noticed it right away was the canopy. <laughs> anyhow, so my GoPro battery just died. But anyhow, number one was the canopy cover, the awning, some sort of protection because the back of my Jeep, if I didn't have this canopy, it would be rather miserable and pretty tough to cook. So second one is proper rain gear. Good gear that's going to keep you dry. I did a lot of hiking, not a lot of hiking, but I did a good amount of hiking and my gear got soaked. Thankfully I have some Gore-Tex. I have Gore-Tex Carhartt gear. It's, um, it's a little bit heavier and it got a little bit heavier as it got wetter but I stayed dry underneath. I was able to strip my layers off and stay dry. So a Gore-Tex material or some sort of really good waterproof material. Number three is dry clothes and extra clothes. And even an extra waterproof coat or something similar or an extra coat that you can change. Because after, after hiking for uh, quite a while yesterday, my coat was super soaked. So I wasn't wet underneath. But when I got back to camp, I wanted to take the coat off, hang it up to dry, and then put on a dry coat and, um, and stay, stay out of the rain. Anyhow, those are the top three that I noticed right away and I think would have made or kind of break this trip. So if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. I appreciate you all for watching. Take care. Slowly get it break, broken down and get the tarp off it and get it in the Jeep so I can get out of here. I'll be in the rain for a minute to kind of finish breaking it down, but it shouldn't be too bad. Get it halfway down. And I'll stay, start taking that tarp off to be able to roll it up and dry it off a little bit. And then break down the rest of the frame. All right, so once I got it broken down, I was able to um, get halfway in back into the storage bag and keep this storage bag dry. So that was one thing I was worried about. So storage bag is dry. I mean, besides a couple of little drops, lay it right on my bed and I'm done. So I just want to add one more thing to that list. So having a place or a spot to hang wet gear is important, especially for me. I knew I was going to have wet gear. So I have behind my driver's seat, I laid down a little tarp hang things from my cargo net here so like when my jacket was super heavy and wet yesterday I could actually take it off and hang it back here um, but long story short I think that's something to think about I think I'll try to create something a little bit better but um, you know having a spot to, to put wet gear is is important 